Glad to have you with us here on the Ravens Rundown. Tyler Jones here. Thanks for joining us. We are talking about the latest Baltimore Ravens news and rumors as we will be discussing Dalvin Cook as well as Danelle Hunter and the possibility of bringing those guys to the Ravens. We'll discuss that coming up in about our moments. Before we do, highly encourage you to subscribe to the channel as we bring you daily news and rumor segments. We we'll also do our live shows from time to time. And we'll be doing watch parties for some of the marquee games throughout the 2023 NFL season. But here's the deal. If you guys want more of that, more live shows, more watch parties, more content on the channel, then we need more subscribers. And we are closing in on 10,000, to be exact, here on the channel. So if you want us to bring you more Ravens coverage and to be able to do more things, well, let's get those subscriber numbers up. Let's get to 10,000. Join the movement. Be a part of what we're doing each and every day. Subscribe now for free. Turn on notifications so you never miss a moment. We'll get started with today's show. Dalvin Cook was released by the Minnesota Vikings on Thursday, making him an unrestricted free agent. There are a lot of questions about where he will ultimately end up. And I'll say this. It'd be very cool to have Dalvin Cook in Baltimore playing for the Ravens. It seems unlikely at this point in time, but I wouldn't necessarily rule it out. Remember when we saw uh, several days ago that cryptic message from J.K. Dobbins about his future, and it seemed almost like a good buy of some sorts? Did he know something the rest of us don't know necessarily? So with that, here's more from ESPN's Adam Schefter as he talked about the likely destinations for Dalvin Cook, tweeting, the Miami Dolphins and the Denver Broncos are two of the teams that are expected to have interest in signing running back Dalvin Cook once he is released per sources. There are likely to be others, but those two have been monitoring Cook for weeks. So those appear to be the favorites for now, but we'll watch and see if Baltimore will join the fold or not. We'll tell you more about the possibility of bringing in Dalvin Cook and go over the numbers coming up in just a matter of moments. But first... Where do you think Dalvin Cook is ultimately going to sign an NFL free agency? This is our pen comment today. You might get an ad break, if so, take advantage of it. And tell me what you think is ultimately going to end up being the new place that Dalvin Cook calls home. Tell me what you think. Give me one team of where you think Dalvin Cook ultimately signs in the comment section. All right, so here's the backstory on Dalvin Cook. In 2017, he was a second-round pick out of Florida State, and the start of his career there in Minnesota was very good. A four-time Pro Bowler uh, from 2019 to 2022, as recently as this past season. And uh, he was very, very good. A dynamic uh, blend of both power and speed from Dalvin Cook. Very rare form that you don't see in every running back that uh, walks through the door, right? The numbers on Dalvin Cook the uh, last four seasons were very, very good to say the least. This past year had eight touchdowns along with just under 1,200 rushing yards. And uh, those numbers better than what we saw the year prior. Granted, he did it in more games in 2022, but you even go back further to 2020 and 2019, and you look at what he did those seasons, uh, just under 1,600 yards in 2020 with 16 touchdowns. And then in 2019, with over 1,100 yards in 13 touchdowns, Dalvin Cook has been consistent. He's been very good uh, throughout this stretch in his prime years of the uh, of his NFL career to this point. The depth chart for the Ravens right now, where things stack up. J.K. Dobbins, Gus Edwards, Justice Hill leading the way. And we're keeping all eyes on Keaton Mitchell to see where he progresses and ultimately how he could end up with this Baltimore Ravens offense if he is going to compete to take away potentially one of those top three running back spots or not. He's kind of the X factor that we're all keeping an eye on and obviously watching uh, J.K. Dobbins and his future after the message he delivered several days ago. So if Dalvin Cook were to come in, you would have to think that uh, if J.K. Dobbins is still there, they would split the workload and if J.K. Dobbins is gone, he would without question be the uh, first-string running back for this uh, Ravens running back room. Uh, last word on sports. Bef prior to the uh, release of uh, Dalvin Cook, had this to say about the possibility of bringing Dalvin Cook in. 
Dark horse candidates at Dalvin Cook's services include the New Orleans Saints, Baltimore Ravens, and Arizona Cardinals. The Saints need to prepare for an Alvin Kamara suspension, and Cook is considerably better than an aging Jamal Williams and an untested uh, Kendra Miller. J.K. Dobbins is reportedly facing contract issues and could be traded, so Cook would be a natural replacement there. So there's the possibility uh, hanging in the balance of the of the idea of bringing Dalvin Cook to Baltimore. What do you think? Do you want Dalvin Cook? Let's start off there. Do you even want to have him on this Baltimore Ravens team? Weigh in and tell me in the comments section. Do you want Dalvin Cook or not in uh, Baltimore? Tell me what you think in the comments section. Why for yes, in for no. Do you want Dalvin Cook or not? Give me your thoughts in the comments section. Why for yes, in for no. If you would like to see Dalvin Cook on this Baltimore Ravens team, weigh in in the comments section. Let me know your thoughts. From one Vikings player to another, Danell Hunter of uh, the Minnesota Vikings, edge rusher, has uh, certainly been uh, mentioned among trade rumors that the Vikings uh, are looking at moving on from him. And Pro Football Network has named the Ravens as a top trade destination for Hunter. Here's more from a PFN, what they had to say. In recent seasons, the Ravens received ample snaps from aging Edge defenders like Houston, Jason Pierre-Paul, and Pernell McPhee. Compared to that group, the 28-year-old Hunter would be a spring chicken. Hunter's new deal wouldn't pay him at that level, but Baltimore could work a reasonable contract to keep him with the Ravens for the next several seasons. While Baltimore has options like Adafi Owe, Tyus Bowser, and David Ajabo on the roster, None of those players offer the consistency or upside Hunter brings to the table. Now, I look at it this way. If you add Hunter to this defense, and I understand there's some obstacles in the way of trying to potentially make this deal happen with the money and the compensation you had to give up in a trade and all of that. Like, there's a few hurdles to climb to get to that point. But let's just say for all intents and purposes, that you can do this deal, then all of a sudden, you go from this Ravens defense being a top eight, top ten defense to maybe even jumping up all the way to being the best defense in the National Football League. We know how good the secondary is. We know about some of the other marquee players on this team as well. But if you get a guy to the level of Hunter watch out, you're taking a significant step up and would be a force to be reckoned with, no question about it. And with with Hunter, too, I know that he's been in the league since 2015, but he's still playing at an extremely high level. I mean, as recently as this past season, was a pro bowler, three-time pro bowler, 2018, 2019, and 2022. He has been that guy, and uh, at the moment is the best player on the Minnesota Vikings defense. So watch out. Go from one purple team to another. It would be uh, quite the, the story. And, and think about this. When you look at his numbers, this is a guy that has rebounded from a neck injury that he had in 2020. Had the neck injury and followed that up the very next season with six sacks and seven games played. And then last year, 10 and a half sacks, 12 tackles for loss and 65 tackles. Amazing to see how far he's come since the days of that neck injury back in 2020. Remarkable. Back to 2019 even, 14 and a half sacks. So Hunter's a force to be reckoned with. He would be exciting. And, you know, you, you talk about the identity of the Baltimore Ravens and what we think of, of this franchise over the years. Hunter matches exactly what we think of when we talk about the Baltimore Ravens and what they're looking for in defensive players. Should the Ravens trade for Hunter? What do you think? Tell me in the comments section. Type T for trade. Type P for pass. Weigh in. What do you think about the possibility of bringing him to the Baltimore Ravens? Hit me up on social media, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, at Tyler Jones Live. That's where you can find me when we're not doing the Ravens rundown. And I'll see you next time here on the channel.